Uh, thank you for kind introduction. I'm Shigeo Wada from Osaka University. Uh, I'm honored to be invited to this international symposium and grateful to the program here, Dr. Kondo, and the organizing committee for giving me this uh, great opportunity. Today, I'd like to talk about the development of a whole brain gut population simulator for personalized medicine support as an achievement for promoting research on the supercomputer gut. We have been developing a whole brain circulation simulator using a supercomputer. This research was started as a host K project and is taken over by a promoting research project using GAP. In this project, we aimed to simulate the blood flow dynamics at the whole brain scale to understand the mechanism of homeostasis for cerebral blood flow and the relationship between blood flow and brain functions, and to develop a medical support technique for the cerebrovascular disorder. To achieve this goal, that we first needed a vascular model of the whole brain scale. Therefore, we here created a whole brain uh, blood vessel model using the real configuration data of the cerebral cortex and uh, measure blood vessels obtained by medical images and uh, mathematical algorithm to generate the vasculature tree for small arteries and veins. Blood enters into the brain from the internal carotid arteries and the vertebral arteries. The blood joins at the circle of wheels at the bottom of the brain. The blood vessels is branched from this with circle uh, to the arteries, which cover the three areas anterior, middle, and posterior on each right and left side. The actual shapes of main arteries and veins with a diameter larger than two millimeter can be obtained from uh, medical images such as MRI and uh, contrast CT images. Smaller arteries and veins branching from the main blood vessels are located on the surface of the uh, cerebral cortex. The morphology of these small vessels cannot be obtained from medical images. The microcirculation that connects arteries and veins via the capillary network are existing in the uh, cortex. In the whole brain uh, scale modeling, this microcirculation system is treated as a concentrated element of flow resistance. I will talk about the modeling and analysis of this microcirculation data. This is a method to build a cerebrovascular model branching on the cortex surface. Here we employ the constrained constructive optimization algorithm proposed by Kirk in 1999. In this algorithm, to a new point assigned in the space, uh, vascular, vascular branches are generated to minimize the uh, total volume of blood vessels. Here, new points are randomly selected from the uh, region where the brain uh, cortical surface is divided evenly. By dividing the region into sub region and applying the same algorithm, the hierarchical structure of blood vessel is constructed. Since a blood vessel created by this algorithm are uh, straight lines, they penetrate, uh, they go pass through the inside the cortex. So we correct this uh, location uh, by using a, a distance function from the uh, brain cell. These are the constructed cerebrovascular model. The upper is the arterial system and the lower is the uh, venous system. 
uh, level zero is a real configuration model. And uh, at level one, uh, blood vessels are formed so as to fill the entire brain circuit. And level, level two, the blood vessels are formed to fill the space uniform from here. These are the diagram showing which area is covered by the left and the right, anterior, middle, and the posterior cerebral artery. Since the real configuration data are used for main arteries and veins, the area covered by each blood vessel is in good agreement with the actual result. The ratio of each territory are also forms the same between the model and the anatomical data. The distribution of blood vessels on the cerebral cortex is also similar uh, to the anatomical data, and the density and the diameter of the blood vessels are within a uh, reasonable range of the value. Uh, for blood flow analysis of the whole cerebral uh, circulation, it was assumed that the solid area was rigid except for the inside of the blood vessel, and the circulation uh, calculation grid for only the blood part was used. The size of the single box cell is 60 micrometer, and the CFD analysis was limited to the blood flow in blood vessels larger than 400 micrometers in diameter. In addition, the lattice Boltzmann method, which is suitable for large scale parallel computation, was adopted and the interpolated bounce back scheme uh, was used to improve the calculation accuracy at the boundary of vessel wall. Using K computer, a uh, 24 hour calculation process with 20,000 nodes gave the result for six seconds in real time. This is a movie uh, that summarizes the measurement of anatomical structure of the brain, modeling of the cerebral vasculature, and the simulation of blood circulation in the whole brain. The blood flowing from the two internal carotid arteries and the vertebral artery uh, circulates throughout the brain and flows out from the internal jugular veins. In the cerebral vascular model, the diameter of blood vessel is set according to Murray's law, but the flow rate is not particularly controlled. However, blood is distributed throughout the brain. This indicates that the passive mechanism based on the morphology and the structure of the cerebral vessels largely contributes to uniform flow of blood in the brain. This is a simulation result of visualizing the transport of contrast medium, which is injected from the carotid artery. This is the uh, actual clinical uh, image of angiography. Similar results are obtained. However, the capillary network is not considered in our model, so the uh, difference can be seen when the con uh, contrast image switches from arteries to veins. The figure below uh, shows the uh, blood flow distribution when the left uh, media, uh, middle cerebral artery is occluded. By lowering the resolution, it is possible to create a medical image as obtained by blood scintigraphy. We are still in stage enjoying the simulation based on the virtual uh, cerebrovascular model, but we are conducting research uh, so that the actual blood flow phenomena in the brain can be reproduced by the computer simulation while matching with the 
medical images of dense free radiation. Next, I'd like to introduce the results of individual differences in cerebral blood flow. Wright et al. has published the data uh, of major cerebral arteries extracted from MRA images of 61 subjects. The minimum diameter of the blood vessel is 620 micrometers. We constructed the real configuration model of the cerebral arteries from this data and analyzed the blood flow. Calculation was done by Fugaku using 1,000 nodes with two hours per case. This result shows the distribution of ratio of blood flow in the left and the right anterior cerebral arteries, uh, middle cerebral arteries, uh, posterior cerebral arteries. The red bar is the result of this calculation, and the green bar shows the uh, measurement value. In the calculation, the pressure at the terminal of the arterial tree, the outlet function, uh, the pressure assumed to be zero, constant. Uh, however, the flow rate distribution, uh, distribution ratio obtained is close to the measurement value. We don't consider the any uh, regulation mechanism. This indicates also that the anatomical structure and morphology of blood vessels themselves are uh, major factors in determining flow distribution of the main artery. This is a result of observing, observing the flow patterns in the circle of wheels, which distributes the blood flow into the anterior, uh, middle, and posterior artery. It can be seen that the direction of the flow through the wheel circle is different depending on the subject. It is quite possible that such individual differences causes differences in the degree of recovery from cerebrovascular disorder, such as cerebral infarction. By integrating uh, simulation science based on physical analysis, such as blood flow analysis, and the data science based on actual measurement data, it is expected that new pathological evaluation based on physical indicator will be possible. This may enable earlier detection of uh, abnormality in brain function and blood flow dynamics, even though there are individual differences. In the cerebral blood flow circulation introduced here, the microcirculation is uh, the microcirculation in the cerebral cortex was, has been treated as a concentrated element of flow resistance. However, detailed analysis of the uh, cerebral microcirculation system is indispensable for clarifying the active regulation mechanism of the uh, blood flow in the brain and the relationship between blood flow and brain function. In the cerebral microcirculation, uh, arterioles and uh, venules uh, that penetrate uh, vertically into the uh, cerebral cortex, as you hear from the surface, uh, as you hear, uh, and uh, connected by the capillary network. Maybe there are some reasons for this part, uh, particular structure to be related to brain function. At this scale, the size of red blood cells that carry oxygen cannot be ignored, and a uh, computational model at that resolution are required. Red blood cells have a membrane structure that contains hemoglobin. The membrane dynamics with uh, red blood cell deformation is coupled 
uh, to the blood flow in the blood vessel using the uh, immersed boundary method. The key of computation is tracking the location of the thin membrane. Here, the interface is tracked by the uh, advection equation of the phase indicator and the correction uh, is conducted by the front tracking method at an appropriate time step to improve the accuracy. Furthermore, by coupling with the mass transport equation, we can simulate the oxygen transport uh, from flowing blood to, to, to surrounding tissues. Here, parallel computing is performed based on the domain decomposition. The fluid and membrane dynamics are solved in each rank assigned to each a divided subdomain. A buffer region is set between adjacent subdomain and the necessary information is uh, necessary information for parallel computing are communicated between the rank. Uh, this is the result of parallel efficiency in Bugaku for our microcirculation analysis code. For weak scaling, the computational speed does not decrease significantly with increase of MPI process. For strong, for strong scaling, the computational time is significantly uh, reduced with increase of MPI process. From these results, it can be confirmed that good parallel efficiency is obtained in our Okay. Uh, this result shows the uh, uh, flow and oxygen transport of red blood cells through an idealized capillary network. The color represents the oxygen concentration. The diameter of the capillary is assumed to be uniform, uh, that is 8 micrometers. Uh, computer simulation have successfully reproduced how the oxygen carried by the red blood cell is uh, supplied to the tissue surrounding the uh, blood vessel. Here we assume the diameter of capillaries in the middle segment are different to seven micrometer, eight micrometer, and nine micrometer. So initially, the red blood cells concentrate in a capillary with a larger diameter, uh, which increases the fluid, fluid resistance and eventually causes red blood cells to flow into smaller diameter. It is suspected that the non-uniform oxygen supply to uh, surrounding tissue in the microcirculation is co corrected by the passive mechanism associated with the flow of red blood cells. This is a computational result of red blood cells flowing in the cerebral micro uh, circulation of mouse. Here we use the actual geometrical model of microcirculation obtained by two photon microscopy. Uh, microscopy image. Uh, the measurement data was provided by Professor Masamoto, the University of Electrocommunications. Although this is still a preliminary result, we can observe the red blood cell in the microcirculation by computer simulation. Uh, furthermore, it is possible to analyze the supply of oxygen to surrounding tissue based on realistic situation as shown here. Since the flowing behavior of red blood cell in the microcirculation can be also observed in experiments, it is expected that the mechanical state in the microcirculation 
involved in the brain function will be further elucidated by associating these data. Then, considering the transport of substance in the brain, what can't be ignored is the flow of interstitial fluid that has permeable from blood vessels into surrounding tissue. There is no lymphatic system in the brain, and it is not yet well understood where, where the uh, interstitial fluid is drained. It is also involved in the transport mechanism of amyloid beta, the causative agent of Alzheimer's disease, is currently a hot topic. We are currently uh, constructing a coupled model of the governing equation, which represents the blood flow and the uh, Dalsheet's model, which represents the flow in interstitial fluid in the tissue. This is still in the preliminary calculation stage, but using FUGAP, we are able to reproduce the interstitial fluid filtrated from the uh, arterioles uh, to the surrounding tissues in the microcirculation. This is a calculation for one micrometer square, but a calculation of the same scale with a whole cerebral blood flow analysis is required. In order to expand the analysis domain, it will be necessary to reduce the dimensions of the blood flow model. Okay, I could not mention about the cerebrospinal fluid flow today. That's the balance of hydrodynamics in the brain is maintained by linking these three uh, systems. It is known that the failure causes various brain dysfunction. Currently, we are developing an integrated hydrodynamics model of the whole brain scale to clarify the physical variation uh, through the hydrodynamics. Fugak will play an important role in such a large scale simulation. Okay, uh, finally, I'd like to thank all the collaborators and uh, laboratory members for providing a large number of materials for today's presentation. Thank you for kind attention. <laughs>